Now, uh, customers are already using duality views to make it easier for apps to access data the exact way that they want to. Um, and I'm gonna bring uh, to the stage Akash Gua from PayPal, who's gonna talk about how they plan to use duality views. So please welcome Akash. PayPal has been revolutionizing commerce globally for more than 25 years, creating innovative experiences that make selling, shopping, and moving money more secure, personalized, and simple. PayPal empowers consumers and businesses in approximately 200 markets to join and thrive in the global economy. Please welcome to the stage, Akosh Guha. Thanks for having me here. Great. Um, so maybe can you can start by just telling us a little bit about uh, your role at PayPal and what, what you do. Sure. So I lead a team which uh, manages PayPal's online transaction data systems. So PayPal today serves traffic for 400 million consumer accounts and about um, tens of millions of merchants in 200 plus global markets. So we operate our databases with extreme scale. We uh, manage hundreds of petabytes of data and trillion transactions on our peak traffic data. So, and on top of that, because we are FinTech, we have to operate with extreme security. So the majority of this data flows through Exadata, and I want to thank Oracle for our partnership in this. I have been, I've spent 14 years in PayPal today, and uh, I always promoted a constant scale bottleneck awareness for us. And how do we proactively mitigate this bottleneck before the system fails? Prior to PayPal, I have also managed uh, databases for Gap Online and Cisco, where my focus is how to improve the availability of these databases, which are deployed with Rack architecture. All right, well, that's great. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about the data challenges that you're facing at PayPal. Sure. First, like, uh, data is like the lifeblood today. It is uh, driving all your decision makings, your innovations. And on top of that, it is helping us, companies like PayPal, it helps us to connect to our customers. So organization, whether it's small or big, doesn't matter. Everybody wants to acquire more and more data, right? It is growing exponentially. On the other hand, if you look at applications, they're also evolving due to the sophisticated need of your business requirements. So in doing so, the data is taking different forms. In some cases, microservices, they are really favor like, you know, key value document data source. Whereas uh, when it comes to complex queries, you are storing the same data into relational format, right? The burden of mapping this data between unstructured and structured is falling on the application. And this challenge is what is leading to is the application delivery timelines are impacted. I think we are, today we are in the crossroads of you know, uh, this abundance of data and the complexity of the data models, which we have to think through how we can reshape this entire approach. Yeah. Um, and so you learned about JSON relational duality, you know, probably about a year ago or so. Mm -hmm. um, so what are you thinking? How, how could it help you improve uh, your development agility at PayPal? Sure, I think uh, the problems I stated, it does address some of those. Uh, I like the fact that it avoids data duplications. Uh, as I said, like uh, microservices, they love to query uh, document data in a JSON format because they can get everything in the entirety. Whereas, uh, in with JSON model, we can also have secondary key lookups, which can help for complex queries as well. And there is very minimal performance impact on that. On the top of that, like you know, it is shielding the developers from managing this complexity of data mapping between unstructured and structured systems, which is a big win. But I believe like JSON duality would be very popular within the de developer community, and we can leverage both the the key value document model plus the relational model that will drive our next generation of applications. 
Yeah, sounds great. Um, so you've also been looking at some of the other Oracle Database 23A technologies. Um, anything particularly interesting you're looking at? Quite a few. Um, first of all, we are in the breakthrough of technology, the, the age of AI, right? Every, I mean, AI is everywhere. Like today, uh, as I said, our decision making, uh, you know, whether it is uh, related to a new feature or what personalization for our customers, everything is AI driven. So we are very excited about the vector capability in, in 23AI. Because I believe that will really help by real-time data feed for to help us to personalize that uh, experience for our customers. And also, uh, if you think like uh, for our merchants, that is a huge benefit because now they can actually use our services to use the data that we capture and present it to their customers and have them a better value propositions. I think uh, with Oracle's reputation, with uh, the scale that you can operate and uh, the concurrency that you can manage, I think it will scale pretty well in OLTP systems. Other than that, we are also looking into your true cache because uh, cache is always mostly is a key value concept, right? And the data you have to read from the databases. Now think about application maintaining the data consistency between these two. True Cache is helping to manage the data consistency between the database and the burden of mapping again the, the document model plus the relationship is now on the database itself. They don't have to maintain it anymore. I think it is, uh, it is pretty exciting and it will drive the agility as well. Lastly, um, I am myself is pretty excited on your newly uh, distributed database with Raft replication. So, so far we have been uh, very successful in scaling our reads. Uh, we have created read replicas and whenever we do any maintenance, we just have to move the reads without any problem. But uh, for writes, it has been always a challenge because when you are moving from one cluster to another, you have to make sure that data is synced up, uh, you know, there is no data loss, and then only you can move the writes to the other side. JSON duality, uh, sorry, the, the Raft technology will now allow you to seamlessly fail over the rights within just a few seconds. For companies like us, which is operating 24 by 7, I think that's a great, great win for us. So overall, 23 AI, I see like uh, it will drive the applications to be more responsive, more predictive, and definitely more reliable. Yeah, it's a lot of very cool technologies, and uh, I think I think your customers look very deeply at it, and we're going to see a lot of use for these things. Uh, it's, it's, these are technologies we've been working on for years, so it's it's nice to see the customers like you uh, looking to adopt this technology because it's it's genuinely useful, right? It's Absolutely, looking for breakthrough, and it's useful. Yes. Okay, great, Akash. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah.